Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming back at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. And in this video, we're going to be painting our Spitfires 109s and our P51. Uh, now, before we get started, uh, this is part two of the video. There will be a third part where, where I will be applying decals. So, uh, so come back and look at that. Now, before we begin... Before we begin, I want to let you know that I had painted the bottoms of these Spitfires with a kind of a off-white color, and I, I think it was like a pale uh, gray-blue, and it turned out to look a lot more white than a uh, green. I thought this had a green tint to it, but once I applied it, it didn't really have the, the green tint that I wanted. So I was disappointed. And so I went, and you can see it in the noses right there. Those are kind of the white tips, same color. So I went back through my paints and I was digging through all my paints and I was looking through old paints and new paints. And I found a color that I hadn't used since 2000 right i've had this paint for 18 years 18 years and this was it right here it it's the uh poly scale or poly s poly s paint poly scale doped linen i had this doped linen uh in the year 2000 when i owned my store and we were doing a lot of Blue Max, and I had painted a lot of British planes, uh, the underside of the World War I planes, doped linen, right? Well, this is exactly the color I needed for the bottoms of the Spitfires. I didn't th think I had this color, but I did. I found it. It was, uh, a, I needed to stir it up, and I needed to mix it up a little bit, but once I got it going, it looks a lot better. This bottom, it looks 100% better than it did. I'm gonna have to say my Spitfires are now doped linen and the bottoms of them just look banging. Okay, so I did that off camera to get caught up. All right, so now there's really only a couple of colors left that I'm gonna do. Uh, let's back up. Okay, I, on my P51, I was not happy with the color that I used. What color did I use? Wasn't this one? Must have been. I think it was this one. Natural steel. I put natural steel on the plane and it was way too dark. It kind of looked like almost like pig iron. Uh, and I didn't like it. It was just it was just dark. So I lightened it up by using Citadel's Mithril. I used mithril silver. I was afraid to use silver because I was thinking it wouldn't look like aluminum, but I looked at the mithril silver and it really does look like aluminum and it makes it look a lot better. So I painted this sucker mithril silver. Okay, that's 100% mithril silver. Put him off to the side. And that's, now the mithril silver, I'm gonna keep it out because we are gonna continue to use this. This is the color that I'm gonna use for all their cockpit glass. Okay, this is what I'm gonna use for the glass, except for that plane. And the reason why uh, I'm not gonna use this color for that plane is because this is the color of the plane. So I'm gonna do something like a light blue or something like that. Uh, yeah, all right. Now, I also pulled out a paint that I haven't used in ages. Uh, this is a Tamaya paint and it's called Smoke. Uh, what this color is, it's kind of like a glaze. It's a, it's a, it's a thick liquid, like a almost not a gel, but really close to a gel. And what it does is you you put this on. Uh, where, where I'm going to put this is like where the engine exhaust pipes are, and I'm also going to put it uh, where the guns would uh, fire like the barrels. I'm also going to put it on the uh, extraction ports if there are any. I'll have to keep, I'll have to take a look at all that. And then German gray is going to be for the tires and the tires alone pretty much. That's all it's going to be. And also maybe some exhaust, uh, just depending. I'll have to take a look. 
All right, so those are the colors that I am going to be using. Uh, I pulled out my Micron point zero zero five. This is like a super fine tip pen. I mean, can you even see this? Can you even see that? You know, it's a super fine tip pen, and uh, I might do some black lining with this on some of the some of the items. I'll have to I'll have to see like the tail, the way the tail works, and the fuselage, yellow. Uh, we'll see how the black lining works out on those guys. I might or might not do it. I might do it on the Spitfires. I'm not sure. All right, the first color we're going to work with is the mithril silver, and it's going to be for the cockpits. Now I pulled out my 20O brush. That's the I want a little bit of detail work on my brush. So, all right. Now hopefully I'm going to move the camera just a little bit off to the off center so that I can get in here, and get close, and breathe on the model here. That's what I want to do. All right. Taking a look where the cockpit color is and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dot this quite a bit um, you might not be able to see this okay but there are struts that hold the glass in place I'm trying not to paint the struts Now, one way that the Spitfire and the 109 differ is the 109 is very blocky when it comes very straight up and down lines when it comes to the cockpit. Um, it's like a box where the Spitfire is rounded. It's got like a, a bubble canopy as they call it. Just trying to be very patient. Make sure I'm putting glass in the glass and not all over the plane or whatever, you know. And there you go. So you get a little bit of a, you get the, I know it's not focused here, but you get the, the glass look up close on the uh, canopy. All right, so let me get all the 109's glass done, and I'll be right back. All right, now with the 109's cockpits completed, 
we're going to go ahead and jump over onto the Spitfires and we're going to do basically exactly the same thing. Okay, so we use our 20O brush. We kind of take a look at where the struts are. And we paint between the struts. Now, do I have to go all the way to the strut? No, because what I'm doing really is just giving an, an illusion of glass between the struts. Uh, interior of the cockpit should also have some color to it. So, by not painting the entire glass pane, what you're doing is you're giving the illusion that you can see inside. Right. Now, the dome. This is where I pay particular attention not to. Because it's a larger area, you don't want to paint the strut. Keep it in between the struts. If there's a part that's not right, just go in and kind of let the brush do the work for you. Like by, because my brush vibrates, it's never perfectly still. So if I hold the brush right next to where I want a little extra paint, the brush will kind of vibrate into that position. If that makes sense. Make sure you use a fine tip brush or you will have a mess. Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. All right, so let me zoom in on it so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. There you go. All right, so let me go ahead and finish the Spitfires and then I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, so now for Preddy's, um, all right, for Preddy's P51, we're going to use Ice Blue from Vallejo uh, because it is not white, but it has a little bit of blue to it, uh, giving a little bit of that uh, glassy look. And I wish I had silver. Uh, I wish I was able to put it on silver, but you can't because then there would be no contrast and you wouldn't see the cockpit. So we're not going to allow that. We're going to put some contrast but it's not a whole lot. And painting it, painting the glass black, uh, and then going over it with a silver uh, in just like the corners or the center is also a way I've done cockpits in the past. Uh, so it's whatever you like. But at this scale, these are so small. I think just uh, giving the idea of a glass cockpit is what you're looking for.
right, let's zoom in for you to be able to see this. All right, and there's the P51 with the ice blue for the cockpit. Looks good, doesn't it? I think that looks great. All right. All right, so the next step now, we're going to do tires. And we're going to do, we're going to use a German gray because it's not a full complete black. It's kind of a rubbery gray color. So we're going to use that for the tires. Okay, so now how many people are actually going to be flipping your model over and looking at the tires? You might actually be surprised. Uh, now, in this case, the tires on this are mostly covered by the wheel cover. So you have to find where the actual tire is. And just paint that. Yeah, so you can kind of see what I'm doing there, painting just the tires under there. And that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a little, there is a tail wheel, tail tire. Make sure you paint just a little nub that sticks out. Yep, just a little nub. And we're going to continue on with a couple of things that I want to paint with the same color while we're doing it. You can see on the side of the fuselage there, there is a uh, exhaust. That's the uh, exhaust pipes. I'm basically just giving them a little love as well. Don't forget there they are on both sides. And if you wanted to, the little intake underneath there, you could probably do a little darkening of that color as well, because it's actually supposed to be a hole. Set that off to the side. Let me finish these 109s. I'll be right back. All right, now that I've got them all uh, blackened, now we're going to take a Spitfire, and we're going to do basically the same thing because he has exposed wheels as well. So we'll do the wheels first in the wheel well, you know.
and we'll do the same thing for the tail we'll get the tail done the tail wheel that is and then we'll also do the exhaust now there's something I noticed after going through and doing my research on the Spitfires uh, this squadron uh, a couple of the pictures show them with uh, the white nose and then but the majority of the pictures show them with a black nose so I'm just gonna paint them with black noses Let's zoom in and take a look at it. All right, so there's the wheels. Well, my in focus. There's the wheels underneath. There's the tail wheel. There's the in. Get this in light and in camera. Got the black on the exhaust, on the engines, and also the nose. All right, let me to go ahead and do the rest of the Spitfires, and then I'll be right back. All right, now the last detailing step that we're going to put on the airplanes is Tamiya's smoke. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it trailing from the exhaust pipes on both the 109s and the Spitfires. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the smoke going out forward from the guns on the Spitfire. I mean on the 109, but on the Spitfire I'm going to have them trail back along the wing like as if the flash and the gunpowder whatever is darkening the wing behind the uh, machine gun <coughs> and like I said smoke is a glaze so it actually is very it's a thick paint and uh, I can smell it too. Mm, smells good. But um, it's also clear. So it's not a wash though. It's not thin enough to be a wash. So I'll show you what I mean. Might be too thick. Might have to thin it out. Okay, you can see where I put it, the machine gun smoke going forward. Uh, you really won't be able to tell the effect of it until it's dry. I'm going to do the same on the exhaust, just a little drag behind the exhaust. See that? Same thing on the other side. Kind of like that. All right, so let's let that set off to dry. And uh, let's do the Spitfire before we move on. Okay. Spitfire is going to have the same kind of exhaust line behind. Behind the engine, right? Same thing with this side. Okay, and then the machine guns. Okay, so knowing where the Spitfire's machine guns is very helpful, but yet 
two close together and then one a little bit further out on the wing on both sides. Something like that. Now you could do it on the bottom as well, but I'm not going to bother. And then we're just going to let that dry as I go ahead and complete the rest of these. And once they're all dry, I'll come back and kind of show you what, what it looks like. See you in just a minute. All right, so now the last step that we're going to do before we <clears throat> let it dry uh, oh, wait, let me back up. Um, you, I, I put a second coat of yellow on the nose of the planes. Uh, basically, that will brighten the nose up more than the cowling, and that will also cause the uh, illusion of a spinning propeller by having a brighter nose like that. All right, so let me... Let me uh, show you what I'm going to do next with these uh, models. I'm going to take my my Pigma Micron and I'm going to draw a line uh, right along the yellow, uh, between the yellow and the gray. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but I put a line between the yellow and the gray. Basically, that's doing a black line. I'm going to do it as well at the engine cowling. Just draw a solid line that separates the gray from the yellow. Okay, so you can see that line. And what that will do, it'll enhance the separation. There we go. Oh, I didn't do the line over here on this side. Okay, let me give you a close-up of this plane, and then you'll see wh why that effect is cool. Okay, look at the tail, where you get that... I'm in the light. Okay, where you get that black line between the yellow and the gray, and then you get the black line over the fuselage, you know, where the uh, cowling is. It basically just enhances the uh, the transition from one color to the other. You might even consider drawing uh, around your camouflage patterns, but these camouflage camouflage patterns, I don't think they're I don't think it's necessary. All right. All right. So that's it for uh, the painting. Now what we're going to do is when we come back in the next video, in the final video, we'll go ahead and apply some decals and do some finishing touches. Alright guys, I'll see you then.